Good morning, everyone. This is John with the Active Towns Channel, and uh, I'm going to ride down to the trailhead uh, to go for my morning uh, trail run, uh, which is something I love to do, uh, especially on cool spring mornings. This one's uh, pretty pretty nice. Cannot complain. Uh, it should warm up later in the day, but uh, when you live in Austin, Texas, and have super hot summers you really appreciate some of the cooler spring mornings. So uh, I'm gonna take you along for the ride and the run. So this should be special for you. Let's swing this around and have some fun. And you can get a really nice appreciation for our tree canopy here in this neighborhood. Uh, really helps out again on those hot summer days. Having tree canopy, having street trees, and you can see some of these very large historic live oaks uh, really cherished in this neighborhood. Street trees are an essential thing for quality of life. And looking back, you can get a perspective as to the location relative to downtown. We are right here. And much appreciated that that uh, motorist decided to yield to me in the crosswalk. Again, this is a critical trail connector. We are hopeful that this uh, street, Barton Springs Road, is going to get redesigned. And hopefully that crossing will be much safer in the future. Sounds like we've got some loud construction ahead, so bear with the noise. So we've dropped down to the little connector trails along Barton Creek. We were uh, briefly on the bridge there on the Butler Hike and Bike Trail. And uh, we've got Barton Creek to the left, the uh, little Zilker train for the kids on the right here. And we're essentially heading over to Barton Springs Pool to lock up the bike, walk over to the trailhead, and head out on a little trail run. can see Barton Springs Pool off to the left here. Little playground area. 
and you can see the location for the Zilker Eagle which will be the train that the kids will be able to ride at some point in time when they actually get that reopened and then here's the main north entrance to the Barton Springs pool we'll head on up this way so you can get a better look at the, the entrance absolutely wonderful spring fed pool and here's a look at Barton Springs pool it's a Thursday so it's actually a cleaning day for the pool hence there's no patrons out there absolutely beautiful and there's the bike racks where I lock up All right, and we are all locked up. Now, let's uh, take a look. Let's turn the clock off. All right, so that concludes the cycling portion of uh, this journey. Uh, that was 1.22 miles, took uh, just under 10 minutes to get to this location uh, from my neighborhood. And uh, let's head on over to the trailhead. Okay, I am uh, over here at the trailhead to the Barton Creek Greenbelt and uh, gonna make a quick pit stop here at uh, the restrooms, which are very nice to have at the trailhead. And there's also water too. Absolute essential to have some comfort amenities. These are truly beloved activity assets. And even for the doggies too. All right, get some water. Don't mind if I do. Yes, absolutely essential. And before we head out on the trail, give you a quick little snapshot of the, uh, the trail map. It's probably a little hard to see. I can't even see it that easily. Plus it's a little, uh, it's all part of the Violet Crown Trail. Got your Leave No Trace sign there and the welcoming sign, Barton Creek Greenbelt. And it's nice that we do have some mile marks here. All right, so I'm gonna head on out for this run. Uh, <laughs> just a quick uh, apologies. Uh, I'm not in super great shape right now, so I'm probably gonna be huffing and puffing, so uh, apologies in advance for the heavy breathing. So let's head on out, have some fun. love the beautiful wildflowers we really do get months and months of wildflowers here in this area Already breathing hard. So don't worry. I'm not going to torture you <laughs> this entire run with my heavy breathing. I'll turn the camera on every once in a while to capture some of this. This won't be a, a continuous run along video. I'd probably have to put the camera on my hat on my head or on a chest mount to be able to accomplish that but every once in a while I'll slow to a walk to let my heart rate recover and pause to listen to the birds
I actually think I know that runner. I don't think he recognized me though. Again, I just love how shaded it is back in here, deep in the green belt. So green, hence the name. <laughs> Anyways, it's nice just to be embraced by all the greenery and the birds. You bet. And uh, slowing down here to a walk to let my heart rate recover, let that uh, mountain biker get past. It is a shared space. I've got people hiking, running, mountain biking, walking their dogs. It's a lot of fun. We'll get past a couple of sections where you'll see some rock climbing. Hopefully some of the rock climbers will be out this morning. As I mentioned, I'm trying to let my heart rate recover. Again, not in the best of shape right now, so when my heart rate gets up over 140 beats per minute, I usually walk until it gets back down, slows down to less than 110, then I start running again. Just doing a little interval training to ease my way back in shape. And again, I prefer to be out here on these trails in nature rather than the more popular crowded trails along the lakefront or on the roadways. I'm just looking for, if anything else, more just a little zen experience so that's why i choose this environment i hope you're enjoying this as well again i apologize for the heavy breathing it cannot be avoided until i'm in much better shape And we're here at the trail intersection. Campbell's Hole is down in this direction. You can see a little bit of the water over in here. It's pretty muddy right now. No swimming today. Main trail goes up the hill here. And once again, we're walking. Need to get recovered. In sections, it is quite a technical trail. It's not really super steep, but it does demand your attention so you don't trip and fall. So hopefully me filming doesn't result in a trip and fall. We shall see. The day is young. Okay, we just passed the uh, one mile mark at a blistering 1355 pace, <laughs> which includes my walks, obviously. Again, it's not a race. This is a Zen activity. Good morning. 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 Whew. 
Whew. Okay, let's uh, get my heart rate recovered here. So we're at a pretty major junction, the trailhead connector. So that's the spy glass trailhead up in that direction. And uh, that connects some of the local neighborhoods off in this area. There's a lot of apartment complexes up there. Quite a few uh, multifamily housing options, condominiums, townhomes, as well as some single family homes as well. But they have easy access within a two minute walk to this environment right here. Pretty extraordinary. So you might notice that this surface is super smooth and very wide. Um, reason is underneath here is the sewer line and they had to replace the sewer line. And when they came back through and replaced the sewer line, they put a whole bunch of crumbly rocks look like that as well as a little smaller than that, more like this over here. And it turned the trail into a real ankle turner. So they put down a nice healthy layer of mulch and so over the months this has been decomposing and turning into soft soil uh, but underneath is those ankle turning rocks you can see them kind of poking through right here eventually after a few washouts because we do get flash floods through here that go as high as those branches right there fairly routinely this will likely get washed out and we'll have a very rough surface to to deal with you can see some of the sewer manhole covers here to the system and my heart rate has recovered let's run again Okay, letting my heart rate recover again. We're at the 1.5 mile mark. Can't quite see it really easily. It's right in there. There you go. I should probably bring my hand clippers out and trim that up a little bit so folks can see it. I think that happened after uh, the ice storm. A bunch of the trees kind of started drooping and that mile marker got covered up. See a lot of dead trees. Some of these went down during that ice storm, which is rather unfortunate. Here's another one. And now you can see the transition away from that uh, mulched area back into the primitive single track trail. That's hard work. I don't know how you do it, Ryan. Whew. Ryan Van Duzer. You gotta check out his channel right here on YouTube. Doozer. At a doozer. Ryan does this all the time. Ah, oh, man. This is hard work, buddy. 
little hard work. Never hurt us though, right? Makes us stronger. Okay, I'm just uh, trying to get the heart rate recovered here. Listening to the birdies. And you can see just how lush it is in here. This is from our spring rains. We've had quite a bit of rain here in the month of May, and we need it. I should have some photos or some snapshots of what this looks like when all this greenery isn't so lush. Be nice comparison. Yeah, thanks. Have a good one. And we just passed the two-mile mark. That gentleman had a nice pace. Don't know if you noticed, but he was wearing minimal Hirachi sandals. A la the Raramari made famous in the book, Born to Run. Hey, good morning. <laughs> okay, time to let that heart rate recover. So, we don't have any rock climbers out here today, but this is all a part of the rock climbing area here in Austin. Barton Creek Greenbelt, and there's even a little bouldering boulder right over here. Let's go explore it since I need my heart rate to recover anyways. So folks will come in and bring a mat and do their bouldering work right in here. You can see it's a pretty impressive natural bouldering area it's really quite cool to see okay back on the trail we're not going to go very far in just wanted to give you a little taste of the barton creek green belt my morning routine hopefully it's every morning but more likely it's two to three times per week. I need to get out here more often. It's just too relaxing not to.
Okay, there is the 2.25 mile mark. That is our turnaround today. We're gonna do a four and a half mile trail run out and back. Sometimes I will be able to put in little loops uh, through this trail network that's in here so that it's not a, a boring, it's never boring, a boring out and back each and every time. Add a little variation to it. There is a lot of spines to the trail network. If you were just to go one, one direction, it's seven and a half miles one way and uh, so and many many offshoots so you can add quite a bit of mileage to your run and uh, one of these days i'll get back in shape to be able to run the whole thing plus once again that turn out. Heart rate recovered. Step up these steps. These are stairs leading up to another famous rock climbing spot. You can see lots of places, lots of ascents that folks do on a regular basis. Actually, really surprised. It's a beautiful morning. They must have tuckered themselves out earlier of the week or on the weekend. Of course, I know virtually nothing about rock climbing, so I'm not sure if any of the recent rains have an impact on when they come back out and do their rock climbing. Okay, just one mile to go. You can do it. Hopefully the battery can do it. Cover. We're back at uh, the Campbell's Hole location. A little bit of water there, but it's just standing water because we don't have enough water in our creek system for the creek to be flowing at the moment. We need a lot more rain desperately. Seven five. 
Okay, we are at the quarter mile mark. Quarter mile to go. Notice that she, she was limping. Morning. Same. Uh, we are here. Let's get some wildflower action. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, hopefully my heavy breathing wasn't too bad. Again, I hope to be in better shape soon. Well, again, thank you so much for joining me on this ride along and run along video here at the Barton Creek Green Belt. Uh, until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. Happy bees. Love these wildflowers. Oh yeah, be sure to like and subscribe and share with a friend. Thank you so much.